Oh, hey, Lori. Hey, Sylvia. I'm fixed to think wasn't nobody coming. <laughs> I'm sitting here in the living room because it's raining, and I got the top of my door pulled down so I can hear it. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Jackie. Good morning. Or good afternoon. Must be good morning where you are. Good morning. Good Good afternoon here. I was telling them I, I'm in the um, living room because I got the front screen pulled down because it's raining outside and I wanted to hear it. And I can peek right through a little bit and see it. So that was going to be nicer for me. <laughs> RJ, he was here. He said, tell y'all, hey, by the way. He said, you could do it out here in the rain, but they might not be able to hear. I'm like, no, they might not be able to. Oh, your first time. Well, hey. Yeah, they went to work on the shed. Oh, okay, 10 o'clock there in California. And um, it started raining, so they had to come home. And they brought Cook out. Hey, Roy. Roy with the fancy cookbook. Hey, Kathy. <laughs> hey, Julie. What y'all up to? What y'all doing? Oh my gosh, Joan. I didn't know if you'd get on here or not since you're. Uh, are you still at the track meet? Joan will be here tomorrow. Well, she actually be here tonight, but they'll go straight to their motel. I don't know. I'm going to hang up on them. Oh, all those storms. Yes. Oh, yeah. You see my owls on different things? Yeah, I like owls. Ooh, that sounds good, Roy. Um, They talk like them storms was no joke. Um, Sebastian's up there in Ohio. I told RJ, I said, you better check on him. They, um, where they're at, it, it, I think his grandpa said it came like west of them, but they come down and got in their basement. Right, Sylvia? I told you. You needed that thing. Doing a little meal. I won't be doing any more meal prepping this week either. I'm glad they didn't none of them hit you, Kathy. Golly. Oh, did you like that, Jackie? Thank you. Oh, I thought you met with her yesterday, Joan. Is this another one? No, no, Kathy. I told them no, no, nowhere in Kannapolis. I told them they can't stay nowhere in Kannapolis. Okay, bye, Roy. Have a good weekend. I would have never thought Becky would have had such a um, time because that's like the nicest hotel we have. It's a Hampton Inn. Those are nice hotels, but golly, she had a bad experience. So I told Joan, nope, none here in Kannapolis. And that's a shame. You can't even recommend the hotel in your own town, but mm -mm. she 
She's staying a little bit away, but not not too too bad. Now it's raining here. It's pouring a while ago. It's still coming down pretty good, but um, it's supposed to stop today, tonight, whatever, and be really nice Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, you would think, Kathy. I thought Hampton Inns were, it, it's not, I mean, it's not new, but it's not like old as the hills. But you, you think of Hampton Inns as being nice. I know when um, another subscriber came down, that's where they stayed, and she didn't say anything um, that she had any kind of uh, problem. So I don't know. Maybe it's just the management or something, not managing it very well. Oh, do they? I'm trying to think. The last hotel I stayed at that had a breakfast. Hmm. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Well, we don't go anywhere. And when we do, we don't stay in motels to have anything, I don't think. <laughs> uh. It's nice if you get one with the breakfast because then you don't have to worry about going out. Well, <laughs> is it just me? <laughs> Y'all just want to sit here and stare at me. <laughs> uh, yes, Kathy, me and you about the only ones talking, I think. Uh, You always doing something. You as bad as Joan doing something. Fresh search. Boy, that's nice, Kathy. Did you happen to see my meal plan in grocery haul this week? Where I got all them free groceries. Yeah, I think I got somebody's whole order. Oh, do you, Sylvia? Let me see who that was. Pardon moi. Oh, Joan had to get out. She had no connection, so she said, tell everybody bye. Bye from Joan. Yeah, somebody's in trouble. I, I told her, Jan, I said, why? Because just a few weeks ago, I got a free case of water, you know? Aquafina, big old case, you know. And I'm like, do people not care about their jobs? He said, Mama. He said, the work ethic ain't there today like whenever you raise me. I'm like, mm. I don't get it. Hey, Michelle. In the ads. Oh. Well, Pat was at the Dollar Tree. Listen, Jackie, I, when I wake up, I like my breakfast ready. So that's why I prep. And when I don't prep, I end up having the same thing all the time, too. Eggs and something. Eggs, eggs, eggs. But I have found when I don't have eggs, it don't hold me. Like this morning, I made cream of wheat just because I was wanting cream of wheat. And, I mean, I got hungry just a little bit sooner than I should have. I did, Kathy. 
the um the Dollar Trees didn't make as much money on I think fourth quarter as they planned. They lost. I saw it. One point seven was it billion dollars they lost. I think. When when they raised it to a dollar a quarter, a lot of people really stopped shopping there. I think they thought it was like the principle of the matter. Some of their things a dollar and a quarter is a good deal. Some of their things a dollar and a quarter is not a good deal. Oh, you have a pro treat drink every morning? I have some mornings. They, they don't, Lori. They don't have a good work ethic. My mama raised me. She says, I don't care if you're a ditch digger. You be the best ditch digger you can be. That's how I was raised. Oh, listen. YouTube and their ads, they got it set up now to where they're, they're going to run their ads. And I even choose conservative. You can pick three different modes when you're doing a live conservative i think regular and, and something else Conser conservative you make the least amount of money because they show the least amount of ads and that's what i put on my lives because y'all don't come to live to watch an ad so if they pop up i can't control it youtube has changed the way they're doing it and if you're in the middle of watching me and an ad pops up that's youtube that is not me See, we don't have any of them combos, any of those combo dollar trees and family dollars. We have family dollars, but none, none in the same. Are they in the same building? You go in one door and like dollar trees on one side and family dollars on the other side, but they have a wall between them and two different separate doors. How's that work? Family Dollar, if I'm not mistaken, was born over here in Charlotte. I think it's the Charlotte Born Company. Oh, really, Lori? I'm cheap. I'm cheap. Oh, so they can, like, take something from the Family Dollar side and put it over on the Dollar Tree side and vice versa and just leave it laying? And then you don't know what you got. Oh, that would be a pain in the tail. Oh, I plan to, Barbara. I, we was talking about what time she's going to come and what you want to do and stuff like that. She said, I want to do what Kim would do. I said, well, I like to go to Salisbury on Saturday mornings. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, nice. There's, some of mine are getting some good stuff. I went the other day. As a matter of fact, I think that video is coming up tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Don't pick it up and just assume. But I was looking for something for Holly, and I didn't find it. But, of course, I found some other things, and so I made a haul. I think we are too, Sylvia. How cool would that be, Lori? Like a, a meet and greet. I come in here to hear the rain and it sounds like it's slacked off. I don't appreciate that. <laughs> Sylvia got a new hip She'll be hop skipping and jumping How is that hip? Is it still hurting? Tight Yeah 
when do you start? Um, do you have outpatient th physical therapy? Are oh, they coming to your house now? I hope y'all can't hear my belly. I had a corn dog and some hush puppies from cookout. Well, where'd y'all go? I ain't never had a long one. Probably get them at the fair, don't you? Boy, I just might have to go to the fair this year because I can walk. I love to smell the fair. I'm not going to ride no rides. You forget that. But I love the smell of the fair. The foods they cook and all that. Oh, gosh. What is Sirloin Stockade? That sounds like somewhere I need to go. Oh, I thought you were talking about long corn dogs, like a, a foot long hot dog. I thought you were talking about a foot, foot long corn dog. <laughs> I bet you there's a fair somewhere that sells them. I bet you. I bet you it's a thing. Now, I'm assuming Sirloin Stockade is the name of a restaurant. Michelle, is that right? <laughs> Them long corn dogs. <laughs> so, Holly, she's had to go... Home Depot and Lowe's or something. I think she went to both of them. And she said Jacob had to get on every lawnmower out there. Yeah, I said, what's like a playground for him? Because he loves that stuff. Oh, you had PT hadn't even come to your house yet? Good Lord. I came home with my knees and they were here the next day. Well, that's good you're doing it on your own. The big cow, because they got one on the road you can see for miles. <laughs> Sirloin stockade. Sounds like a place to get a good steak. With a name like that. Excuse me. Sorry. Oh. My home PT when they, I was already set up for appointments with outpatient PT and then home PT had to graduate me, so to speak, release me from home so I could go to outpatient. But I had all that scheduled in the beginning. I didn't have to call them. They called me. Ribeye is my favorite steak because it's got good fat. David will get, if we get a, he likes a sirloin, but if we get a ribeye, he will cut all the fat off and give it to me. And guess what? I will eat it. Seafood on the buffet. Man, that sounds like a good restaurant. Last year, we tried to get a person to do several projects at the house. Last year we signed a contract, but the guy blew us off and said, you need to find someone else. 
my important was to fix. The penthouse where the squirrels live. <laughs> and he wouldn't even do that? Well, my goodness, Sylvia, you should have done heard from them. That's taking too long. I ask David all the time, do people not want to work? $3.56? Are you, you, did you say you had steak on it? Did you have steak on it? No, you can't buy nothing to make a salad for that kind of money. Oh my God. Gosh. I didn't know restaurants still sold that cheap of a meal. Thank you, Pat. Well, that's good, Lori. You know, I still hadn't tried to go down my front steps. Yes, that's it. They want to go in the boss man. They don't want to work their way up. Well, that's not how it works. You got to pay your dues. So, ask me something or talk about something. Listen, I do these videos where, I, like, I I don't I don't do much, so I don't have a lot to talk about. And when I do, it's like on my weigh-in video or some other video, and then I come on here live, and there's nothing new to say. So, Octavia. No, I have not. Octavia. Seems like I've heard of that. Is it the shop or appeal? Salad bar, grilled chicken, spinach, cheese, and then we're making some of our seeds homemade bread. All that for $3.56? Oh, because you hip. They'll get to the um, their motel tonight and then they'll coming here in the morning. <sighs> Jackie wants to know besides my journal, whatever hobbies I have, watching TV. <laughs> I like to diamond paint. I used to do a whole lot of craft crafts, and then I just uh, kept not thinking of anything to do and I got all the holiday things made and I got stuff in here I don't really know where to put anything I make and I don't want to make skinny box oh okay oh it's a oh <laughs> yeah, he's reading that book through his eyelids. We still have it from last year when we didn't get it. So we know what to get. Oh, that's good, Sylvia. You're doing better than me. I didn't just gain weight during my surgeries. I gained it after. My head, my head just ain't screwed on right or something. With the medications. Yeah, I would, Jackie. Um, 
I, I didn't have any troubles with it. The only thing is I told, I told David, I said, I just think he left me too big of a stomach because it does not work like everybody else's. And it has never from the beginning. I would have times in the beginning where I'm like, oh, okay, I'm full. And then it just like stopped. It like It's like it stopped working. I don't know how to explain it. I'm having to try just as hard now, if not harder, than before I even had the surgery. Well, that, that's good, Sylvia. Hey, that's a bonus. The um, gastric bypass. You felt the same way, Sylvia? I know everybody has a different experience, but mine's not the experience that I thought I was going to get. It's just not. I mean, I'm glad I got it. I, I lost the weight I needed to lose to get my knees done. And I don't think I would have without the surgery. So the surgery de definitely makes me eat less than I ate before surgery. If I wasn't, you know, following my diet plan, <laughs> but it doesn't work to where I eat even less. I'm able to eat more than I should. See, Pat, I can eat anything. I can eat anything you put in front of me. I have never had a problem with anything. Sugars don't bother me. They say you're not supposed to be able to eat sugar to make you sick. Well, they don't make me sick. I can eat anything. Um, you could choose, but they also recommend. And I asked my doctor, what would he recommend? And so that's the one he recommended. I said, well, then that's the one I want to do. Two forty-six two two weeks ago? Three, how long has it been since you had surgery? Is it windy? Were you in the path of those tornadoes? Yeah, I had my gallbladder out. Don't nothing bother me for that neither. Oh, bypass surgery. <laughs> gotcha. I'm like, since your hip surgery? <laughs> <laughs> That'll be <a> dumb moment. <laughs> oh, did you get hit with any of the um tornadoes? And you still got wind today? Is the storm still coming through? Oh, excuse me, y'all. You do that too? <laughs> yeah. I look over there and, and I don't know the phone number. I just hang up. Because nobody ever leaves a message. So, and I would block them, but I got my, all, how many ever it will hold is full. So I ain't been able to block nobody for probably over a year. Frosting makes you sick. I bet you I could sit here right now and eat a can of frosting. It wouldn't make me sick. Nothing makes me sick. You're, you're not supposed to be able to eat certain things, and certain things are not supposed to um, go down easy, and blah, 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 blah. <sighs> no. Nope. Oh, yeah. I can see that, Jackie. In here, you're still how much you were when you started. It's hard, especially if you've been that way for so long, it's hard to see yourself as anything else. It's hard to see yourself as you truly are. Yeah. 
Well, it's raining here, but it sounds like it stopped. It looks like it stopped. Oh, I don't. I'm just saying I couldn't. It wouldn't make me sick. I like buttercream frosting. I like birthday cake frosting. Looks like rain. I think ours is going to quit today. That's what I said. If I can't get snow, which I'm not going to get snow this year. Not even anything close to it. Then they might as well just bring spring on so I can get on to the garden. I went out in the building this morning and dug out all my cannon jars. Ones I've had saved back. You know, I buy them at the thrift store. I got a bunch on that store that was going out of business for dirt cheap. And so I dug all my cannon jars out and I got them all separated out here in the boxes. So I got tons of all sizes except for quartz. I'll probably have to buy some more quartz. We didn't have any pat, dad gimmick. Okay, Michelle. I'm glad you got to stop by for what little bit you did. You have a good weekend too. Just stop. Yeah, smash the like button. Give me a thumbs up. Oh, did she now, Pat? Cool. Oh. <laughs> I, I thought you were getting on to me telling me don't eat frost. I'm like, I'm not. <laughs> But you know what the delivery device is? A spoon. <laughs> mm, I bet that was good, Pat. Oh, yes, Kathy. We, we, we said it's going to be funny. I'm going to try to vlog. And she's going to try to vlog. Are we going to catch each other on our camera? How We don't know how it's going to work yet. We'll just have to figure it out when she gets here. And we're going to try to put them up at the same time. Oh, yeah. Sweet and salty is good. I could go for something sweet. I could go for a milkshake. Seriously. Do what, Rhonda? Listen, we've known each other for, what, five years? And finally getting to meet? Yeah, I could do that. You had to flip a coin, Lori. <laughs> flip a coin. I made a, uh, I don't know what you'd call it. I heated up one of those five or one brownies and put a chocolate pudding cup on it and put some of that cream on it. Well, we could, but then one of us is going to get screwed out of some views because once you watch it on one channel, you're not going to go and watch it on the other. So we're not going to do that. <laughs> oh, Joan's back in the car. Oh, do they, Pat? And Kathy, too? 
Lord, they don't listen. I'm telling y'all, don't nothing hurt my belly. Nothing don't hurt my belly. And it's supposed to. Elizabeth had gastric bypass 15 years ago, and I can eat anything. Mm -hmm. Girl. She <laughs> had 12 hours of driving for four minutes and 52 seconds of running. <laughs> That's what mommies and daddies do. I know RJ was talking about when they they were up at the building before they come home and Holly and Jacob had been out and so they rode by up there to say hey before they went home and said so Jacob was in his car seat back there with his snacks and uh, Holly said she had to get gas and Jacob said snacks and juice and she's like yes you can baby <laughs> so they went in and got snacks and juice like how do you tell that little boy no I cannot look in his face and tell him no. Oh, my gosh. Yours too, Jane? Okay, Rhonda. I had never had the, the enlightened ice cream. Fiber one bars don't bother me at all. Listen, if something did bother me, it might make it easier to not eat so doggone much. Which is not as much eating at one sitting as I can eat all day. It's sometimes, now sometimes I'm full and it'll last. And then other times I guess it, it matters what I eat. If I'd eat right to begin with. You know, now my belly does talk a lot. Like right now, it's just talking. <laughs> yeah, Lori, that's right. Well, 12 hours to get down there, and then she's going to have three hours to get from there to me. Will it take you home? I guess it'll take you home a different way since you'll be at my house. Yeah, I'm sure Walmart fixed it for them too. But in the meantime, I got free groceries and Walmart had to pay for them. They had to foot the bill. If I was that person, oh, I'd have been hot. Where are my groceries? You and me both, Lori. Golly, I crave chocolate. I crave chocolate. Now, I will say I got candy jars over there. And one of them, Holly mostly eats it. I don't go into it very often at all. But I got little bags at the Dollar Tree to put in there because my jars were empty. And they needed to look like something. There's like five pieces of candy in the Dollar Tree bag, so it never was full. But I don't go by and eat on it. I mean, every now and then I'll get me one, but no, it's always somebody different. Always somebody different. I don't know if they have that many people that they can rotate around that much, or if they have a lot of um turnover in their job yeah they gave me my groceries and somebody else's groceries Kathy I got a bunch and the funny thing is they shop pretty much like we do same brand of ketchup we use <laughs> those flushable wipes which by the way do not flush our plumber we had the um, bathtub the toilet would not David tried to snake it and everything and it wouldn't go. And so he come out and he got it. Of course, he said, he said, I'll tell you what it is. He said, this is some flushable wipes. He said, most times when he goes to unclog a toilet, 
It's flushable wipes. He said, do not flush them. Oh, you definitely don't want to flush them then. I, listen, as much as groceries are today, I bet you I got, I don't know how many dollars worth, a lot. It was a lot. Big old thing of parchment paper, big pack of flushable wipes, Neosporin, allergy relief, a big bottle of ketchup, three giant sweet potatoes, 24 pack of Hawaiian rolls, bagels, Worcestershire sauce, some kind of weird mambo sauce, a giant thing of him, um, Hidden Valley Light. Avocado, two limes. It was crazy. Oh, it had to be Pat. Yeah, you get to keep. If they give you something that's not yours, you get to keep it because they can't take it back. I asked years ago, it happened. And they're like, no, keep it, enjoy it. Donate it if you don't want it, but we can't take it back. So I don't even, I don't even tell them now if I get something wrong because they're not going to take it back anyway. Yep, that's right. Don't flush. Listen, I'll tell you. Call it TMI if you want to. But everybody's got to go. If you don't flush them, we have a diaper genie. And that's what we use for our bathroom. Um trash i guess you would say <laughs> it's wonderful did you Listen, they stink with diapers. Holly would come over and change Jacob's diaper and put it in there and be like, oh my gosh, that thing is stinking. So I make her put it in a plastic Ziploc bag, zip it up and throw it away. <laughs> she could throw the pee ones away, but she got to zip up them poopies. Mm -mm. Them poopies is too too much. Oh, was he, Pat? I wouldn't want the job of washing them. That just seems like a pain in the tail. They can't flush toilet paper in Costa Rica? Why? I I I never heard tell of that, Lori. Yeah, but you still gotta wash them. Listen. Even when we played with baby dolls, we played with pins and cloth diapers and rubber pants. Times have really changed, haven't they? Really, Lori? I don't think so either, Pat. Um, Jackie, I don't have Netflix. I have um, Paramount Plus, and I think we all know what to what to watch on that. 
I haven't watched Heartland in a long time. Um, I started it on Peacock, and I, I've not been back to it. I need to get back to um, that. I just have Peacock and YouTube TV and Paramount Plus. Well, and Prime, Amazon Prime. There's something I was wanting to watch. Yeah, I can't remember. I I don't watch unless it's something I know David won't like. I won't watch something new without him because then he might want to see it. But then he's always working all day Saturday when he comes in. He comes in from work in the morning and don't go to bed until that night. So he's been up over 24 hours by the time he goes to bed. And he's done that as long as I've known him. That's what he does on Saturday. He has never come in and gone to bed. And then Sunday he gets up and he's usually got something to get into. And then if he can get through with that, this season we watch the race. And then by then we're eating supper and going to bed. <laughs> so, <laughs> we have bad TV watching time. Oh, did you use cloth, Joan? Of course, why would I be surprised? <laughs> hmm. I would definitely have used disposable on the road. I used disposable all the way on mine. Wonder how many you'd have to have. How many for one child? How many cloth diapers do you have to have without having to wash every day? Or do you have just enough and you have to wash them every day? I think back to when we wore them and they didn't have dryers and they had to wash them and hang them. How many diapers they had to have? Oh, Joan says they do sell um, rubber pants. She uses them, use them, use them. She uses them when she's probably training her um, children. Oh, yeah. Cloth diaper and twins. No. That's a lot of washing and folding. Fifteen to twenty. Mm. I'll have to tell Holly to get Jacob some. Oh, yeah. Boy, them little babies can go through some diapers, can't they? Well, it's almost time to get off. Anybody want to talk about anything else? <laughs> hmm. Oh, they snap. That's nice. I wonder if they have some with Velcro. That'd be even easier. Listen, Joan, I was saying, I thought you met her yesterday. Or is this somebody else? You had three. Jane, I'm passing out. <laughs> you had three in diapers at the same time. Is this what you're telling me? Are you telling me you had three in diapers at the same time?
chili beans. Oh, I forgot to get my ham. No, my hamburger meat's in the refrigerator. Oh, good. Just chili beans. That's it. Chili beans. I do have a box of Jiffy. I might I might make, make a box of Jiffy to go with it. A set of twins and one under three. Oh, you're a saint. Oh, you had on me chili last night. It's a good day to have it, too, because it's a little chilly and rainy. I think that's a good chilly day. I, I planned that good without knowing it. Goodness, Jane. <laughs> that was a lot. I bet you are glad them days are over. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, I know about them surprises. Holly was my surprise. Well, RJ was, was a surprise in the fact I didn't know I was pregnant. But not in the fact that we weren't using birth control. So I knew we would eventually have a child, but it was a surprise at when it happened. Now, Holly, she was a surprise. <laughs> oh, okay. I was thinking you met her yesterday. You didn't know she was pregnant at four months old. Oh, you didn't you didn't know you was having twins until you was four months pregnant. I got you. I, I read that wrong. Listen, it's funny because I had RJ. The, the right way married okay we'll we'll have a child and, and i'm younger and then i get older and should know better and i get a surprise <laughs> life don't go as you plan but i'm gonna tell you what i could not imagine life without her she came along and knew i needed her she knew i needed her See, Holly wouldn't have been born on her birthday, too, if they had just left me alone. They put me, she was due, like, on Wednesday. They put me in Monday and induced, did all the things. And guess what? I laid there for two days, and she was born Wednesday, the day she was due. Sometimes I think they need to just let Mother Nature handle her business. They get in such an all-fired rush. She, she knew you was going to need her, Lori. How did she end up in Costa Rica? No, I mean, just curious. Could you hear my stomach? I hope y'all cannot. Because it is kicking up a ruckus. <laughs> well, it's it's about a minute till two, so we kind of got to a place where ain't nobody talking.
Holly was born quickly. RJ was not. Well, she wasn't laying in the hospital for two days wasn't quick, but when it was time for her to come, it was quick. And she just stayed. Good Lord, Pat. <laughs> you could have had him in the parking lot. So what are you saying, Lori? She didn't finish her major? I'm kind of confused. Just... I didn't finish my major. I regret that to this day. That's why I'm so proud of RJ's Holly. She's does online school she works she's got i think she can graduate next year she's been working her tail off and i'm so proud of her i told her i said do not let anything stop you you've come too far and you've done too good So, did she like it over there? Well, that's a dumb question. Apparently, she did like it over there. She stayed. I don't know. I like my modern conveniences too much to go live in some third world country. I'm just telling you the truth about it. <sighs> okay, it's 2 o'clock. I'm going to put a plug on this. <laughs> whatever you want to call it <laughs> oh lord Lori you still watch General Hospital I ain't watched that in years I used to schedule my college classes around General Hospital no joke a bunch of us girls did Oh, Juan and Doug. <laughs> it's <boring. laughs> oh, That's funny. I'm going to eat them long corn dogs with Juan. <laughs> I know your spell check will mess you up. <laughs> Yes, David's not. He, he's got work to do on the garage down there. But they're going to go back and do it Sunday. Because I said, you're going to be with me Saturday. Uh, he did, It wasn't like he was trying not to. You know what I'm saying. So he'll come in in the morning from work. And then we'll just spend all day doing whatever we want to do. And then he'll go to bed sometime tomorrow night. But anyway. Well. Yes, Pat. I guess that's all I know. I didn't have much to talk about today. I told y'all, I don't have a life. I couldn't do a daily vlog. I don't have anything to vlog about. I don't have anything to talk about every day. Because nothing goes on. If I, if I get boring on a live one day a week, could you imagine how boring I would be every day of the week? Terrible. Okay, so I'm calling it. That's it. <laughs> so, I thank y'all for coming. And I got you a Dollar Tree haul for tomorrow. I got you a Dollar Tree dinners for Sunday. And I am working on a junk journal for, I think, Monday. So, there you go. Yep, yeah, thumbs it up. Thumbs it up. Okay. Well, I hope y'all have a good weekend. Talk to you later. 
Bye.